Hey, this is B from Kongs R Us, and today we're going to talk about a casino cade that I built two years ago for my mother in law with the help of Mrs. Kongs R Us. Now, back then, touch screens were all the rage, and I created a counter cade version with my good buddy Bobby Vu to create an in home casino cade that had touch screen slots and tons of functionality. I love this machine. I kind of forgot that I did this, but with all the recent talk about arcade one up casino cades, I wanted to come back and revisit this spot to show you how I did it and what I might think Arcade 1UP Casino Cades might look like. So let's check it out. So I was definitely inspired to do this mod by my man VicVP who has an awesome YouTube channel. Definitely check it out. He does custom arcades, virtual pinball. Shout out to the wizards like Quack and Folk that got this mod working for lots of folks. So that was the inspiration for this build. So for parts, I used a 19 inch ELO touchscreen as well as some budget PCs that I gutted to make sure they fit inside. This is just a PC slots game that the touchscreen emulates a mouse. So when you click on it, essentially it's like clicking a mouse. And once I tested everything was working, I was able to move into the build itself. So let's talk about the build. So for the build itself, I asked my man Bobby Vu from To Die For Mods to help make this custom countercade inspired by an RK1 of countercade, but fitting that 19 inch ELO screen and having a slanted panel so I can install custom casino buttons. So here I am with Mrs. Kong's Arrest taking it apart, painting it and decorating it. And yes, this was for my mother-in-law, her mom. So she cut out the stencils, made a custom marquee here. We added some beautiful gold decorations to the entire thing. And then after it was all done and dry, it was time to put it back together. Next I added some gold mylar trim to the monitor itself and then finished putting everything together as you can see here it was such a tight fit getting all the parts to fit inside but we made it. In addition to the touchscreen, I wanted to add dedicated functional buttons to this build itself. So I added these square light up buttons that I created custom labels for. Once I got everything set up, as you can see here, I added a dedicated exit button, something for your keyboard, coin start, bet five lines, max bet, spin and repeat, as well as some dedicated volume up and down buttons that work perfectly. All right, this is the completed Asian slots mod using a custom countercade made by Bobby Vu. So here is the power supply from the back and the uh, power switch. So everything's plugged in with these two slots and this is the on button. So let's turn it on and let's check it out. All right, here's the desktop. So it's gonna auto boot into Simple Touch FE. Uh, so first you're gonna do calibration. So push the button, let's hold it down. It's like? Yep. So it's gonna calibrate all four corners. So you just do that each time. And then once you're done, check it out. Boom, simple touch front end, beautiful. So you have two different things of slots. So these are nine slot games, push the slots too. So those are more slot games there. And then we have a mug of touch uh, on the secondary screen too. So go back to slots one, you can pick anything you want to. So test it out. Boom, push the button. You can just push the screen. Simple, just push play. And pick your slot machine. Garden party. Yeah. Anyone pick garden party? And so you can start off by doing max bet and then you can do uh, a repeat bet or you can do a half bet with doing the bet five lines. So I wanted to keep it simple. So you can push the button to play. Oh yeah, and that's a working value up and down switch. Cool. Home slots. Yeah. And kid friendly. If you actually ever need to type anything in, this blue button pulls up an on screen keyboard. So it's really easy to type if you need to. That takes it out. And then this green button here is an escape button that'll take you either to an escape or back into your menu. And you can use the actual menu to quit and then join another game. So that's the mod. It's pretty cool. About ready to go. If you want to shut down, just hit this button and then you can reboot or shut down from this menu. But super clean menu, super interface. I really like it. Yeah, thanks, check it out. I had a lot of fun with this project. You can see opening it up, I crammed a lot of stuff inside from the PC to the power supply, to the hard drive, to the speakers. Uh, but ultimately this was made for my mother-in-law and did she like it? Well, let's go ahead and deliver it to her and see what she thought of it and if she actually uses it. Surprise! Oh, for me? Yeah! Oh, thank you! Hey, it was a homemade you. one! Home, oh, homemade really? casino! Yo, really? Yeah! How's it look? 
Uh, we can turn it on and I'll show you. Push the button here. Or you can also push this button too. Oh. Yeah. But I mean, uh, do I have, I mean, uh, the corn, I mean, the, the credit is always... Yeah, so you start with that much money. <laughs> yeah, and then, or you can set it to change it. So it's just play for fun. No, I mean, the... So while it turns out my mother-in-law didn't enjoy playing fake slots, she does enjoy playing online connected slots via Facebook. And this is what she's on every day pretty much several hours a day. As long as I was able to connect the system itself, which is a PC, to Facebook, she was happy playing her regular slots and not the touchscreen slots. So in the end, it was still a win. She's still using it to this day, but not as I intended. All right, so let's go back to our k one up slot machines that are coming out. Again, these two leaked pictures showed up about a week ago, and I'm testing out some Android versions of slot machines that have Wheel of Fortune. So let's test it out and see what I think these slot machines could be like. All right, so I just unlocked Wheel of Fortune slots on this uh, GSN slots, and uh, this could be a version of what we might see. It might be a little bit different, but again, I have these fake tokens here in the corner that I started off with, and I'm using a level up system to be able to unlock higher max bets. This is probably what I might expect the arcade one up system to be. If it's online connected, I think it's gonna be pretty much like an app that you would have on your Android device where you can play free tokens. You would get free tokens to play these slot machines. You would play, you would level up rewards just like what's happening here. You can up your max bet, you can do some things. It'll be like you logging into an account. And then if you ever by chance happen to run out, you could probably click on the buy tokens and spend real world money to buy tokens to play in the game. I think this is how I would do this if I was Arcade One Up, or if I was releasing a version of this in home, where there is now a microtransaction system where people can have some skin in the game. Uh, there'll be offers and things, and, and I think it's gonna act like an app. Like, if it's just gonna be playing fake coins, you can see, like, my mother-in-law didn't enjoy playing with the fake coins, and um, she kinda got tired of it after a while. And if it was connected to these tokens that you can purchase, and then, just like in my mother-in-law's video said, she might be able to redeem them for something down the line, maybe some arcade went up merchandise, or actually truly connected to Vegas slots just like the Facebook um, slots that my mother-in-law plays that could be a version of what you might see in this online connected space so I do think this is how I would implement the slot machines if I was going to do it I have zero clue what this is going to look like this is just a sample of the Wheel of Fortune slots that's on an Android game device that you see here if you keep playing this game uh, later on you unlock deal or no deal as a game so in this picture with all the different slot machine games that i see there i bet what you might see is one of the first games the marquee game being unlocked for you to play with and then in order to unlock the other games that are all you know the marquee games on the other titles say you buy wheel of fortune but you want to play elvis or you want to play deal or no deal you'll have to level up to unlock those slot machines and continue playing until you lock all of them that would add some replay value into it just like this is giving you some sort of reward system Again, this is just the gambler in me. How, why would I keep coming back to a machine where it's just free play and there's no incentive to keep playing? It's the unlocking. It's the microtransactions. It's people wanting to unlock, you know, future games by using these token systems. So maybe that's how they'll keep the online play moving forward in the future, that you can unlock games using these tokens and you could purchase them ahead of time i don't know i think that's what it's going to be in terms of gambling you're not going to be able to gamble real money but you'll be able to have these micro transactions for tokens so in a nutshell i feel like this is what these casino cades were going to turn out to be let me know what you think about this Hopefully you enjoyed the casino cade that I made for my mother-in-law as well, as well as seeing a look at what this potential online system could be. If you go back and even look um, at the Android store and you just type in the word slots for different games, look how many slot machine games there are. There are tons of tens of millions of downloads 
for these particular games. So you can see how popular something like this would be if you're playing, uh, you know, Wheel of Fortune slot machines. And it's just a big market, untapped market. Look at this, 10 million downloads for this particular slot machine game that I just played. And you could play it. So there it is. Wheel of Fortune slots come into your home and you might get addicted. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and we will see you next time. Thanks. I got a wild. All right, what did I win? I won 75,000. Yes! Okay, let's keep it going. Oh yeah, that's a big win. Okay, all right, I'm getting addicted.